Big Breakfast News at 7.06. Back to Johnny and Jenny. Phil. I'm fine. I'm uh, doing well, and I'm glad to see that Jenny's kind of keeping up that energy. Yes! 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 There's no letter from Miss McCarthy, I'll tell you now. Nice frock. What did you get up to yesterday, <laughs> Phil? Anything interesting? Uh, nothing interesting. I finally bought that, a computer. I spent all day just be being a bit of a dweeb setting wow. it up. Phil, what you're no dweeb, baby. Yeah, you know. But what was the first site you went to, uh, Phil? <laughs> the, the first. Oh, I haven't got it. No, I haven't sorted out the internet yet. Uh, no. Let's hope it's not bestiality on dog day. Yeah, okay. That's absolutely right. Do you know what? Uh, Phil Gell, he's going to be here throughout the show, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. That's our personal guarantee of quality. Yes. Okay. And even the dogs enjoying this. It's one. a big day today. It's a Johnny. big day today. Not only. Well, God, touch. Should I tell them? It's a worldwide simulcast, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Uh, we're going out to about 100 million viewers. Um, we've got the output, I gather, on the monitor, it says. Uh, yeah, what yeah. we have them today. Uh, but anyway, we're going I'm out the web mistress. Every, every, we're on the web today. Wow. Uh, and uh, this is the web mistress. This Please, is the web mistress. Make for us the sign of the web. I kind of look like a pink condom, but that's okay. okay. And my fiance is watching. Hi, honey, I miss you. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love you're you. making the dogs growl. Oh. Listen, can you make the sign of the web? Yes, I can. Look at that. Web. Mistress. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, you know what? I had to hear that all day today. Okay, let's just, we'll make the sign again, and every time you make the sign, it's going to happen, Jen. The web. Mistress. Yeah. Oh, yeah! That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, even the Rottweiler's looking over here. Do you know what? Uh, the, the reason you might hear a lot of barking in the background. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not the crew on a session. Uh, whenever you see dogs on telly, I've noticed they're always being sort of operated on, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. They're always yes. being, uh, or they're in some lonely Neutered. little cell. It's like lonely home for dogs. Little dogs, uh, cute dogs, smelly dogs. And from the bottom of our hearts, we say to our four-legged, wet-nosed pals, we love you. What? Yeah. We, we do. Love we you. love you. OK, so it's OK, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just enjoy that fact. That's what, right. What's happening now, Jen? Well, you know, I need an expert to tell me all about your British TV shows, because I'm just lost. And here one is Patrick Moore with his route to midnight. Here's Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Miss Jones. Oh, yeah, just, uh, just checking the, uh, the, the woodwork. Oh, I thought you might be avoiding me. Avoiding you, Miss Jones, the very idea. Uh, what's that you've got in your hand? Is that a collecting uh, tin? Yes, it's for famine relief. Oh. I thought you might like to help others less fortunate than yourself. Of course, Miss Jones, certainly. It's a very, very worthy cause. Yes, allow me to um, contribute. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss uh, Seriously. No, it was nothing, Miss Jones. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> and that concludes my route to midnight for Thursday. And of course, don't forget, every four weeks you can see me on the sky at night. How about that? Woo! I don't mind telling you that is my rising down, my, my favourite ever comedy. Yeah. Does anyone love Rising Down? Yeah, very good. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you've never seen it, oh, you must have all seen it, but I love it. Jen. I'm doing something after the show. What are you doing after I'm the show? I'm going online. Let me tell you where. It's a half an hour after the show, so make sure you be there. But if you're okay. naughty, I'm going to kill you. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, Big Breakfast. Dot, channel 4com dot oh, uh, Jenny McCarthy live on the, I presume, on the big, yeah, on the Big Breakfast. I'm scared. Jen, do you go on the net much? I go on all the time. Sometimes I'm at like six hours a night, but what I usually do is I go into those chat rooms, you know, where yeah. they have the psychic stuff, and I'm the psychic, because there's never a psychic. Everyone's like, who's the psychic? Who's the psychic? So I say, I'm the psychic. They don't know it's Jenny McCarthy. <laughs> what sort of things do you do? Do you, do, um, do you lie to them? It's so easy. They say, can you tell me what my problem is? I say, you know what? You're at a crossroad right now, because nice. everybody's at a crossroad. Because everyone's at a crossroad. Everyone. And I say, you know what? You're trying to find your path. But you're kind of lost. No, nice. everybody. Uh, yeah. They wouldn't be lost if they weren't totally. lost. Totally. And you're trying to find your soulmate. Everyone is, even though I found mine. Hi, oh, honey. No, no, just because he's watching. <laughs> he's watching. I, I suppose love you just you. give these general things, and do people really respond to it? They go, God, you, you really are psychic. Yeah, and they're like, please keep talking. Please keep talking. I'm, like, I'm sorry, I have to move on to the next I person. I can tell that on the outside, you're quite a hard person. On the inside, you're soft and easily hurt. He'll go, that is so true. You know what? <laughs> it's very true. And I'm even cool. when you're in a crowd, you still feel somehow alone. I'm yes. kind of like a Twinkie. Yeah. I'm all creamy inside. So, Jenny McCarthy, point of all this, point of all this is, Jenny McCarthy, you won't be doing your psychic readings because now you've given that away, but she will be on uh, bigbreakfast.channel4.com. I'll be talking to you. Right, about half an hour after the show. That's 10 o'clock uh, Greenwich Mean Time. And LA, it's like 9 o'clock at night. Oh, uh, Britain, the world's grandfather clock. How about that? <laughs> uh, do you know what? Uh, what are we going to now? This is Channel 4. You're watching The Big Breakfast. That's right, baby. Where life starts at 7. How about that? Yay! <laughs>
This breath of fresh air was brought to you by Tunes, the menthol suite that helps you breathe more easily. You're him, aren't you? The one off the TV. Yeah, I'm always on the box. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Hi, everyone, it's me with more surprises from Kinder Surprise, the Brazil Elephants. Brazil Elephants, Brazil Elephants, you know we love to sing and party. Brazil Elephants, Brazil Elephants, you know we love to sing and party. Brazil Elephants, Brazil Elephants, our lives are always full of laughter and romance. We have the best time just playing in the sunshine. Discover all the hand painted Brazil Elephants among the many surprises in Kinder Surprise. together their most recent UK top 10 hit was how deep is your love mm, I know how deep mine is, is Hi, John. their new single is called these are the times go crazy for jazz Cisco, no Nokia Woody the men from Drew Hill yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about that? and you guys are only here for two days uh, well yeah. not, not even two it's like more like one now Oh, one couple hours. Back, couple yeah. hours. Couple See, hours. We're only here for five. No, how about that? But in their oh. short visit, they made sure the big breakfast was on their map. Of the yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Okay, you know, before we get, before we start talking, let's have a look at your latest video because I gather it's an absolute okay. stunner. Yeah. Here it is, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Have a look at the Why'd you go for the man in the iron mask look? Oh, actually, um, uh, there was a collaboration of ideas between the whole group. We realized, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, big heartthrob or whatever, and we were watching. You thought you'd, you'd get in on the act. Yeah, yeah, you know, we just kind of, you know, figured we'd slip in there and hopefully it worked, you know, to save us. That's yeah. cool. Hey, guys, tell me about your second album because it's way different than your first. Well, actually, this, the <laughs> second album is basically uh, it's entitled Enter the Drew because the first album was kind of like a collaboration of different producers and what have you, writers you know, writing on the album. On the second album, we wrote like 90% of the album, wrote and produced. So yeah. basically, Into the Drew is indeed that, come inside our world. That means more money, too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Talking, of, talking of big money, how, how easy is it to, to, to break into the British charts? Not easy yeah, at all. It's not that easy. But yeah. we kind of figured Discerning out. Discerning punters here. We kind of oh, figured it out, though. We figured the trick is a fast song. Oh, that's oh. cool. That's the trick. You get a good fast song. You sky, and I can groove. Kinda. Look yeah. at this. They love it. They love it fast. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Now you're making a race. Can you see this one pet, now? Pet. Oh! oh. 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 Alright! You guys have been together for 10 years? No. Well, we've been, we've known each other. No, even longer well, than 10. Well, that's what I meant. Friends. Actually, we've been together professionally two years. Two years. So okay, but tell, but tell Jenny about Fudge. Oh, there you go. Talk to me about We used fudge. to work at a place called the Fudgery. It was kind of like a... The Fudgery. It was a minimum wage job, you know. It was, like, really kind of cheesy. What did they make you wear? It was fudgy. It was like a little uniform. The typical uniform. Yeah. Oh, I bet that was white. Like little white. Yeah, we had to wear, like, all white. Like candy stripers. No! <laughs> Just kidding. It was like, but you all worked together in a fudgery. Right, it was like yeah, a whole... It. it was really theatrical, like, hey, everybody, look this way, right this way, if you watch me now. That kind of okay, thing. Okay, didn't you have routines when customers came in the shop? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, like... What, what were some of the things you did? Could you just oh, we some of the songs that, like... Well, a little bit of me and a whole lot of you To set a dance to starlight and a desert of us too To let it rise a hundred years or two And that's the recipe for making fun Can I buy some fudge from you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so those summer jobs can be very dangerous. Are they, were the uniforms horrible? No. Yeah, I mean, one too fly. I mean, it wasn't one, too... I mean, one too... It was the apron, wicked. wasn't it? One too it wicked. wasn't too it wicked. Was it was wicked. Guys, how, easy, how easy was it for you guys to come up like, with an image? Well, actually, fun? we just be ourselves. 
Kinda. That's his best thing to do. Yeah, yeah we yeah. try to actually, we, 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 we wanted like a kind of edgy thing. We didn't want this whole st typical R&B suit thing. See, my thing do. is I just, I'm just fake all the time. Yeah, no, that's why yeah. in the chat. That's easy the best way. It's the only way you I keep just, it safe. You know what, that, that <laughs> thing you did was cool. Can you do that again? No. Uh, oh, look, you can do the web if you like. Oh, I can you do the web. Ready? You ready? Webmaster, it sounds. Get ready for this. you got to give me a bit of warning. Oh, when? Mistress. Oh! Yeah. Oh, ask, you ask him seven, Jen. Seven! Come on. Eight years is a long time since... I just asked him that. Did you? I just did. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to ask him eight. Oh. Yeah, do it! Okay, oh, Jen, Jen, are we doing all right, do you think? I yeah. think we're doing okay with this, I don't, don't know. Let's kind of evaluate us for a minute. Uh, seven was good. The song was really nice. I think yes. the viewers really... But they loved to see a cappella. And I think a little dance move. Okay, uh, let's move on. Fudge, okay. Uh, how much has changed? How much, <laughs> how much has changed? Uh, we've learned uh, exclusively that you're about to work with some of the biggest names in the business. Now, yesterday, uh, our researchers were asking who you've worked with, but you'd only give. Would you believe this, Jen? Hi. Hi. Uh, no, no, you'd only give... <laughs> Sorry, I've got to... Uh, you'd only give them three sets of initials. Now, those initials were EJ, WS and MJ, That's right. which I suspect was Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. Um, are you prepared to tell us a little bit more now about who those initials yeah, were? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it would be to our best interest to tell you that we uh, just... We just produced a song that Sir Elton John wrote for a new... Sir Elton John! Oh. Sir Elton John! Oh. 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 Believe me, you don't, have, you don't have to do that just because you're in England. Just oh, okay. Elton. You guys don't like it, huh? <laughs> okay. yeah, we love Elton. We're all big fans of Elton. He's one of our give greatest pub me. singers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's a big, big guy. In later, in movie two. Sorry. But that's like a big... That's, that's like great for, you know, for us, you know. That, you know, your your. How do you enjoy? Uh, do you enjoy? He's a nice guy. Actually, we didn't yeah, work yeah. with him. He kind of sent us the CD. But you know what? And was I like, do your thing. We're looking forward to uh, talking to him uh, Friday or Saturday. Cha Chang Chang. That's all I have to say. Oh, that's right. Right. Hey, Nokia. Huh? Something special is going on for you today, son. What is it? It's just his twenty-first birthday. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I just can't it. In England now, you're a man. Okay. Here you go. Uh, yeah. A little present, oh, a little present. What, what is it? Excited. Can you don't guys get... get a close-up of this? Okay, don't get all soft mm. sentimental. Hey, check this one out. Dang! Oh. Check this one out. Oh. 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 Hey, you know what? Check this one out. Yeah. That's all Whoa. I have to say. Check right. this out. <laughs> Some of them got some amazing tattoos and they're itching to get them out at all times. Well, you didn't Log get has got the most mission. amazing back piece. No, I'll get Log. It's Big attack is what? Okay, do you know what? Uh, <laughs> uh, it, what, what <laughs> just show them what you got you on your 21st birthday. Now you're a man. He's a man. I don't yeah. 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 Can we yeah. just say yeah. to the viewers, oh, never oh, use oh. adjustable spanners. Oh. It can yeah. really, it can start to round yeah. the nut. You can really use those, they fit exactly. Okay, yeah, absolutely right. Listen, gang, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. A big happy birthday to you. Good luck uh, with the new single. Do you know what? It's dog day, ladies and well, gentlemen. That's oh, right. It's dog day. Are you dog fans, Drew Hill? Yeah, bring well, the dog out. Don't like bring the dog out. Dog. He doesn't like, Woody doesn't like dogs. No, 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 no. Bring the dog out. <laughs> bring him well, up. that's real fear in the eyes. <laughs> okay, keep the dogs at bay for a bit. Okay, uh, so in a second, we've got Bulldog Vital Statistics. That's yes. our breed of the week. But right. first... first, a global superhero with a bad dress sense. It's yeah. the web master. Yeah. yeah. Join the webmaster today and log on to bigbreakfast.channel4.com as the whole show goes live worldwide on the internet. Plus, as a special treat at 9.30 today, webmistress Jenny McCarthy will go online to answer your questions. So remember, it's bigbreakfast.channel4.com and your chance to chat with Jenny McCarthy as the Big Breakfast goes global. Webmaster. <laughs> Oh, there is a frisson of excitement going around the house today because it's dog day on the Big yeah. Breakfast. Yeah. OK, it's dog day on the Big Breakfast. Yeah. There's meant to be some special dog day titles, but they haven't had <laughs> I don't know, the graphic voice. OK, so let's keep a stiff upper lip and be proud to be British as we welcome the most glorious breed of all our four-legged friends. This week's featured breed, the Bulldog, ladies and gentlemen. OK. I'm in heaven right now. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're actually, they've got quite a ming on this morning, haven't they? There's quite a really doggy smell. They're always gamey, though, aren't they? OK, so always, always. They so, have their own smell. If you could bottle it, it would be worth a fortune. Yeah. Uh, Believe me. Really? Believe me. Okay, now in the house today we've got a man who's already piped up, David, who knows everything about the British Bulldog. I've often been puzzled by the breed. I love the breed, I enjoy it, but I often wonder what's it for. 
Why was it invented? And he's going to answer all these questions. Would you please welcome David McHale, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. OK, so, David, um, we've got some lovely bulldogs here this morning. Uh, Trevor, what's your bulldog called down there? This is Trevor. This is cha a champion. Okay. Who's also the father of and all these the two boys. Here, one of them is Mount Up. Whoa, this Mount is... Up. <laughs> this yeah, do is it. Percy. Oh, Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Oh, yeah. OK, where is the bulldog originally from? Well, he's pure British. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. For ten pounds. <laughs> uh, next question. No, he was... Well, the turn of the century, the 18th century, that was when the bulldog, as we know it today, came about. And um, the original two were Rosa and Crib. And we've really kept to that standard ever since Is it since true then. that they used to fight bulls? Well, not fight, they baited. And there's a big difference. Mm. There's a big difference with baiting and fighting to kill. And they were never trained to kill. Where did they get that? I, I, what I'm, I'm interested in is all dogs supposedly related to the wolf. Right, exactly. Uh, so how did the snub nose come in? How did they get a dog, well, a wolf? Every, what do you breed it with to make it like Every that? single <laughs> thing about his head... Everything about the bulldog is man-made, totally. There is nothing, nothing what? natural. Yeah, if you look at the lab, the skull should be brick-shaped. And then you have a layer back there. And the idea was, when he jumped on, you see the jaws, they're uneven. Now, if you had an even bite, you yeah. can prize your way out. Yeah. When he jumped up at the throat, that lock, it's, that's why he's undershot. Wow. So right. he could hang on. And the reason he's powerful at the front and lighter at the back was to spring up right. and to pull and pull. And the crease along his nose there yeah. was that when the blood came, it would drain. And the idea of the rose ears on the side, where he holds them back against the head like that so they couldn't be ripped off. So the total head is made so he can breathe with that over the top. Yeah. The ears are out the way, the eyes are on the side, they wouldn't get the blood in. <laughs> oh, Jen. Oh, oh. No, we want, I want to go there. Uh, <laughs> Is it an aggressive dog? Not at all. That was bred out of him after the uh, the baiting was abolished. How did you breed it out of him? Well, it was me. A couple of other little lines were brought in to change the temperament, and now he's got the best temperament of any breed, without a doubt. He's great with children, I hear as well. He's great with everything. Oh, Absolutely, the most laid-back dog you'll ever come across. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> I just wonder, I, sometimes I worry about their breathing difficulties. I went to Crufts this year and I saw a lot of the owners there were actually sort of spraying, I think it was lemon juice on their faces. Which well, was an odd thing to do. a lot of the ones that you'd see at Crufts would be kennel dogs yeah. and they're in a new environment, there's lots of lights, there's lots of things happening, there's never enough air circulated. Mm. And they just, it's not that they're in stress with their breathing, it's their, te you know, they, the fact that it's all unusual for them. Mm. But their breathing, well, there's Percy asleep. Is there anything wrong with that breathing? <laughs> and I mean, I could get Trevor on this sofa, tip him upside down and he would sleep upside down for you. Yeah, oh. Baba does too. Does that he do is that? A phenomenal ball. That ball oh, down there is, is just incredible. Like... I know. Just I want to get over there. Yeah. This was you. best to breed at Crofts and Top Dog for 1996. Let me stack Trevor up. Come on, stack Trev. him up. Stack him up. Stack him up. Right. I don't Trevor. know how you stack one up, but stack him up. Look stack him up. Body. Jenny knows how to stack him up. Yo, right. Yeah. Right. Trevor, stand. Show them shoulders. Stand. And the other leg down. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Back legs in. Back legs in. Come on. Crofts over. That is a show pose. Look at that. Oh, oh, the, the, the width of the front is just... And the width of the power and the head. So it's a little change. Standing this now. this standing one was a champion. Yes, salute. Any issues? Salute. Oh, yes. Okay, oh it's like this. Oh, it's I can hang with it by Friday. <laughs> that is... It's just a, look at the width of the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, scratch the back, and scratch the back. there's just a little bulldog pup here. <laughs> You know, you know, many of you know me, I'm not a soft person, yeah? I'm one of the hard men of British telly, but look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a real animal. Oh, I'm only kidding. Do you know what? Uh, thank you very much, Daisy, yes, for bringing the Bulldogs thank down. Thank you. Uh, Daisy and Trevor. Thank you for uh, appreciating it. Thank them. you very much. The Bulldogs, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Jen, Jen, after yes. the break, we're going to do bulldog vital statistics and all that. And you can, right. and do this, you know, as a treat, you can hold the bulldog pup. Can the I the whole, whole time? Show, yeah. Hey, guys, this is Channel 4. You're watching The Big Breakfast, where life starts at 7. Get yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Do you have some ID? Will this do? He was a playwright. What's it called? Romeo and Ethel, the pirate's daughter. Well, that will have them rolling in the aisles. Whose last two shows flopped. I have lost my gift. She wanted to act when women weren't allowed on stage. That woman is a woman! When they teamed up... My heart belongs to you. They broke all the rules. Nominated for six Golden Globe Awards, including Best Actress, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Best Picture of the Year. Shakespeare in Love. 
You shouldn't be chasing birds at your age, Ginger. I'm not chasing birds, I'm stuck. Stuck? <laughs> yes, stuck, I can't get down. <laughs> Go on, rub it in. So at dinner time, when I'm noshing all them lovely kitty cat matey chants in that yummy jelly, you'll be stuck up there. Yes. Right, I'll have yours then. Oh! <laughs> Hang on, I thought you got stuck. I did, I got stuck into this. <laughs> you can't keep a cat from his kitty cat. No! Wilkinson Sword bring you technology in three dimensions. The new Protector 3D. Its wire-wrapped blades now move in three ways for the optimum balance of safety and closeness. Protector 3D from Wilkinson Sword. The feel of smart design. In a fresh new line of toiletries. This La Crunch Gala has a superb bouquet of honeysuckle. And the taste... Ah, as sweet as heaven itself. But have you considered the tart La Crunch, Braben? Tempting the sense is like a concerto of sunbeams. You seem to have overlooked the La Crunch Red, the Granny Smith, and the sublime Golden Delicious. Hmm. Ah, oh, no rest for the wicked. What have you got? Colouring in. La Crispy, La Tasty, La Crunch. Hey, hey, hey! Hi, everyone, it's me with more surprises from Kinder Surprise, the Brazil Brazilifants! Brazilifants! You know we love to sing and party as we dance! Brazilifants! Brazilifants! Our lives are always full of laughter and romance! We have the best time just playing in the sunshine! Discover all the hand painted Brazilifants among the many surprises in Kinder Surprise! So that's 16 to 10. Yes. Sorry, Ooh. you've uh, come back. What happened was, because we're so overrunning this morning, we're just doing items even when you're not watching. We're doing it without you. Uh, uh, it's Sorry. Kind of we are. Uh, but anyway, you had all had a lovely day. The family, ladies and gentlemen. The Cornwell family. Just, Diane, just tell them who the celebrity was you saw. It's Mrs. Merton. Oh. Mrs. Merton. Oh. Oh. Okay. She's okay. lovely. And she was really charming to you, wasn't oh, she? she? Was Fantastic. How about the family, ladies and gentlemen? The whole yeah. from Cornwall. I smell like dog. Yeah, you love that, don't you? Uh, do you know what? During the break, we filled the whole family's quality time hallmarks, as you can see, so 16 to 10. The, that's the health farm over... Where did you go again? Tower of London. The Tower of London. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, Tower of London is a 10-point experience. Health farm, 16 in terms of relaxation. Mm. But do you know what, Jen? Mm. It's dog day! day! <laughs> Uh, today we're celebrating the glory of our little canine companions. We've got loads of our pedigree chums in the house. That's right. And still to come on this morning's doggy style show. Uh, coming up next, staunch in defense, fearless in attack. Lives in a kennel. It's our bulldog related vital statistics. Yeah. Yeah. At 7.45, Val Kimmer reveals all about his latest role as a blind fool. Have you ever met Val? No, I heard he's a jerk though. Yeah. I don't I've, like jerks. I've heard shocking things about. You know, I've never heard anyone say a good word about. I know. Why do you have to be stuck up? I don't know. I don't know. Why ask me? Uh, at 7:50, further atrocities committed in the name of home entertainment with the latest installment of Video Nasties. And do you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Woo. McCarthy has bought some of the worst of American sales through video to show us here in the house. I can Boy, tell you now, the Tommy Lee, Pamela Anderson video is not in there. Pamela. Perhaps, uh, one of my and my buddies from America, Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan from Senate Live, in the house. They are so funny. Are they good guys? Yeah. They are. Amazing. They're gonna make me pee in my pants. And can you just assure British people how big they are in the States? They're so huge. You know you guys have Mr. Bean? Yeah. These guys are them. Perhaps not such a good analogy. Okay. Uh, and you can contact Jenny with your problems of the heart and soul from anywhere in the world today. If you've got any love problems with Jenny McCarthy, uh, the more the further away you are on Earth uh, from London, the better, really, just to show the diversity. I'll help you with your relationship problems. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm really trying hard. Dear Jenny, uh, uh, 0181 985 all the ways. Or 0181 985 all the ways. Or, of course, you can just email us. Big you Breakfast. Can just go onto our website, Big Breakfast. At uh, channel4.com. Big Breakfast at channel4.com. And right. that's also the address, Jen. Yes. Uh, and that's not the address. Big Breakfast.channel4.com is where Jenny McCarthy is going to be half an hour after the show finishes today. And you can chat to Jen, ask her any questions Ooh. you like. Yep. You know, don't keep it, try not to keep get, it clean because you know what? I won't see the questions if they're mean and dirty and nasty. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, but right now it's over to Phil Gale with Big Breakfast News and Weather. Here's Phil. Yay!
Good morning. These are the main stories on Thursday, the 21st of January. Where are these two? Can you help? Paddy ponders a future after early retirement. And King Kev returns for a tribute gig. Police are investigating claims that two missing 10-year-olds boasted to classmates that they planned to run away from home. Lisa Hoodless and Charlene Lennon haven't been seen since setting off for Christchurch School in Hastings on Tuesday morning. The school didn't tell their parents when they failed to show up, so police weren't called in until 5.30 that evening. Stephen Lawrence's best friend has told how he lived in fear since Stephen's murder. Duane Brooks was there six years ago when the white thugs struck. He's been haunted by it in the bungled police inquiry which followed. Duane says racism was obvious from the start. I gave a description, I gave Stephen's address, I gave his name, I gave my address, I gave my name. I told him a lot of stuff, a lot of information, yet they still persisted in asking me silly questions like, have I got any weapons on me? Paddy Ashdown is pondering his future now that he's handed in his notice. The Lib Dem leader, who'll probably be best remembered for the Sun headline Paddy Pants Down when his infidelity was uncovered, is standing down at the next election. Supporters say that he's done a tremendous job. His critics say he's quitting while he's ahead. Here's the sport. Wolves owner Sir Jack Hayward is suing his son Jonathan over alleged financial irregularities at the club. Sir Jack's action centres on the movement of nearly £250,000 while Jonathan was chairman. Former Wolves director Nick Stones is also named in the writ. Peter Beardsley has received a boost ahead of his benefit match at Newcastle. Former Magpies hero Kevin Keegan has confirmed that he will play in the game on January the 27th. Current manager Ruud Hullett has also agreed to turn out. Middlesbrough have sparked a multi-million pound scramble for Robbie Keane. Burrow won the 18-year-old Wolves star for five million. The movie's likely to start a bidding war between a host of premiership clubs. Here's the way the weather looks. Temperatures should range from five Celsius in Aberdeen to nine in Plymouth. There'll be less rain about today, although the southeast will still be quite wet. This morning will start foggy in most areas, brightening up by mid-morning. Southeastern England will be dull and wet. After lunch, the whole country will have sunny spells and even southern areas should see some sunshine later. There's the five-day forecast. Northern areas will have wet, windy weather tomorrow, although the weekend should be much brighter. Central regions will be chilly but dry, with more rain expected by Sunday. And for the south, tomorrow should be quite sunny. The weekend will have rain, but next week should be brighter. That's Big Breakfast News at 25 to 8. Back to Johnny and Jenny. Very much indeed. Phil Gell, is this global thing getting to you all right with this, it? Uh, you know, I can't believe the size of the audience. It's huge. It's huge, isn't it? Yes. Huge. You're going to have about 100 million people this morning throughout the world. How do you Ooh, feel? I feel faint. I feel it's, it's just making... Staring at any, any messages for, for anyone in any part of the world, Phil? I just say hello to my family, uh, my relatives in Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> what? Sorry yeah. I didn't get over there. I, yeah. say, I, my friend, I just say hello to everyone in China. Thank you. Okay. Uh, say hello to everyone in... Where else we say hello to people in? France. Uh, France. Uh, Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, and also, where else? Far flung. Hello to everyone in Norfolk. All right, yeah. How about Thailand? <laughs> OK, Thailand. do you know what? I can hear a little bit of music. Yeah. Oh, it's got a good beat. The band. Harry and the Playboys, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, you really did a polite ripple. OK. <laughs> uh, when portly bachelor Greg Pitt took a walking holiday in the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, by his side, as ever, was his faithful companion, Trixie. Ooh. Tragedy struck on their very first day. Trixie, a seven-stone English bulldog, happily trotted down a ravine and disappeared from view. Pitt bravely struggled after her, but slipped and rolled until he finally came to a painful halt wedged in the branches of a hawthorn, where Trixie found him some minutes later. <laughs> Instinctively realising that Pitt had compound fractures, she barked herself hoarse. <laughs> For, uh, for hour after hour, finally attracting dozens of other dogs down to Pitt's ledge, closely followed by scores of bewildered and panting owners. Started barking, all the dogs have come. Aww. If you bark, they will come. <laughs> uh, a forest ranger, well, in a manner of speaking, a forest ranger on helicopter patrol uh, witnessed the strange sight of a pack of dogs closing in on what appeared to be a stricken beast pursued by some sort of hunting party. Pitt was later said to be hurt by the rangers' amplified demands that, the, that they move away from the bear. <laughs> uh, even Log's smiling at that one. It's Log! OK. Asked to comment on Trixie's bravery, Pitt declared, I'll never take that bitch out with me again. Oh. Hey, I'll tell you now, she darn nearly killed me, I tell you. <laughs> Every dog has its day. That certainly wasn't Trixie's, but today's is utterly devoted to the best of breeds in our British Bulldog, or Bulldog-related, vital statistics, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 
Fight all statistics, donkey style. Fight all statistics, breath vile. Oh, I mean breath vile. Oh, no, breath yeah, breeze. Yeah, doesn't whatever. matter. Doesn't matter. Whatever. It was the doggy. Okay. Whatever. Do you know what? I've got in my hand some statistics for you. Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. Okay, you ready? Uh, stat. Yes. That is nice, isn't it? Thank you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Your dog noises are too good. That whole relationship with your bulldog should be investigated because you seem to respond to their needs. You should ask my boyfriend. Okay. My fiance. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, number of years it has taken to create the great British bulldog, our own national dog. Now, if you're watching earlier on in the show, you'll actually know the answer to this already. So let's just see. Uh, let's go to Log. Log, make the sign of the log. Come on, log. Sorry, uh, to our American viewers, uh, Log, he used to be in TV's Gladiators <laughs> as Log. And when they wanted someone just to lie down and obstruct no, the he just... <laughs> It was Log, but now he's, uh, he's branched out. Oh. 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 Yeah. You finally twigged. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it was actually quite funny. A lot of people were laughing. John, do you want me to, John, do you want me to leave? Yeah. Okay. That sort of takes it the other way. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what do you think, Rob? 150 years. Correct. No. Steps of woe. Hey! Steps of woe. Steps of woe. Hey! Steps of woe. Steps of woe. And off he goes, slamming the door as he leaves. Uh, what it is that you can't say the correct stat because it leaves us nowhere to go. It makes us oh, all Oh, see? So he has to now sit on the steps at the end of the garden. Loser. Steps of woe. Okay, we but he'll be back in in a second. It's just, it's just a plaything. Okay. It is 150. It's the most crossbred species in the world. Mm. That's quite like us in Britain, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Successive waves of invaders have made us a glorious hybrid. Like America. Well, yes. Well, perhaps not as extreme as that. Yeah. Okay, percentage. We're all of, mutts, basically. Okay, percentage of the Great British Bulldog that is actually German. Oh, oh no. shocking! This hurts. This really hurts. You know, I don't even go by me. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. What do you reckon? I have no idea. Do you know what, Jen? I'll tell you now. It's twenty-two percent. No way! No. The other seventy-eight percent is made. Thank you, Harry and the Playboys. Uh, the other 78% <laughs> is made up of the Molossus from Greece, the Allon from France, the Pug from China, the Old English Bad Dog. That'll be the majority, I think. Uh, the Greyhound, the Boxer, and the Mastiff. All bred in there in that glorious concoction. I can't believe that. It's fantastic, isn't it? Do you know what we'll cry? Fantastico! Fantastico indeed. Do you know what? Here's uh, step two. Jen, yeah, what step is it? two. Okay, largest amount of money raised by a single bulldog for the war effort. Oh, oh. you've touched a real thing. Come on, give a guess. Uh, La largest amount of money. 10,000 pounds? Bulldog? Come on. 30,000. 30,000? 30, 4,000. 4,000. Uh, rough bird, what do you think? Uh, 4,000. It is 100,000. No, no. 100,000? Yes. Queenie, a red champion bulldog bitch, God, I love saying that, became a major celebrity appearing on promotional pictures with Winston Churchill himself. That's right. She posed at public events to raise money for the war effort. On one occasion, she was displayed in the... What is that? Trafalgar Square. What is that? Trafalgar, it was a big battle in 1805 where Nelson successfully defeated the French France. and ended yeah. forever uh, That's French cool. control. Okay, uh, they have never <laughs> again even bothered us. Crowds came forward to pat her on the head and made <laughs> donations totaling 100,000 pounds. She was patted and stroked so much on the top of her head that she went bald. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next stat? All right, percentage of the British Bulldog population that starved to death. Oh, that's so sad. Due to food rationing during the war. Of course, they were low priority. Unfortunately, during the war, humans came first. So since the war, that hasn't uh, hasn't plagued Britain. What do you think? Because now animals come very firmly first in this country. That's right. Uh, the amount of Bulldogs that died, I don't know, a thousand? Percentage. Oh, percentage. Uh, 10 percent. Only 10 percent of the Bulldogs. Huh? 20 to 30? 18 to 12. 30%. 30%. Uh, Linton? 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. Let's we go to the band? Yeah, the band. Harry, Playboys. leader of the Playboy. Uh, 24. You guys are all off, ready? Yeah. You're all off. 58%. No way. That's that right. is a very interesting statistic. Hey, I died before my dog. That's for damn sure. Would you? Food, I would. Yeah. For my baba? Mm. Food was for human consumption only, and 4,600 of our patriotic care bulldogs died. 
Oh, oh that's no. not good, but I tell you what, we're still going to cry with some joy. Yes! Mastifnikiko! Let's try it again, because it sort of went a bit wrong. Let's do it again. We cry... Mastifnikiko! OK, here's stat three for you. The number of years an average bulldog spends sleeping in his ten-year lifetime. How much of his ten-year lifetime he spent just asleep? One year. One year from Benny down there. I'll say a year and a half. A year and a half. Carpet Monster, he wants to know about it. Six, I reckon six. Six, he says, holding up five. That's good, Carpet. Dick, I, Dick, I, Rhyme with Shikai, Dordi Kaka. Three years. Three years. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Four years from the ten-year lifetime. Oh, wow. Bulldogs are the most lethargic of all dogs, <laughs> spending a solid nine hours a day sleeping. <laughs> Excellent. Respect. They're just, they're just knackered. They're yeah. knackered. <laughs> <laughs> they're knackered. They're all grown. Oh, knackered. <laughs> oh, duh. Knackered. Okay, here we go. Here's the next bit. Uh, percentage of that time, he'll be snoring. Oh, God. Six. Six. No. no, percent of the time when he's sleeping is he snoring. 50%, 50 percent down there from the baby bed. I'd say 90 percent. 90 percent. 82 percent. Do you know what? Uh, what do you say, sturdy? 60 percent. It's sturdy girl, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Go, baby! Oh, oh it's a sturdy girl. <laughs> Just giving a, a global treat I was handing out. <laughs> Uh, what? OK, the percentage of that time will be snoring, it's 100% of the time. Yeah. Due to their genetically inherited flappy facial skin and unusual shaped noses, bulldogs always snore when they're asleep. Oh. Don't always. deny it. Don't deny it. I know. Just bu Bubba always snores. Bubba always snores. Yeah, 100% yeah. of the time, because that's the kind of dog they are. We cry, Mag Woofy Co! And that's the end of yeah. today's Bulldog Related Vital System. Yeah. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed those. Now, Kilmer, our <coughs> latest movie at first sight, this is Channel 4, and you're watching The Big Breakfast, where life starts at 7. Exactly Yay! right, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> If you want a car that's tough and durable, try the Citroen Saxo with reinforced safety cell. Side impact protection system. And that's not all. Sound deadening. And an acoustically engineered floor to reduce engine noise. The Citroen Saxo. Available from 6995. For two sisters with a magical gift, falling in love is the trickiest spell of all. What would you do? What wouldn't I do for the right guy? Sandra Bullock, Nicole Kidman, Practical Magic. It's Jane. We'll be round at six. Cleaning and killing germs doesn't always mean bleach. Who wants bleach on worktops or their clothes? Enter Mr. Muscle Kitchen. Its lemon formula cuts through even the toughest greasy stains, while its antibacterial action kills germs. Your surfaces will be so clean, you could almost eat off them. Mr. Muscle Kitchen cleans and kills germs without bleach. If you want a car that's tough and durable, try the Citroen Saxo. Available with up to three years free insurance. It's the ideal safety package. Such a well-behaved selection of dogs here this morning. You'd have thought they'd all be fighting. You've got some. You've got some breeds here that can get feisty, but they're all being yeah. absolutely fine. They're not snapping at all. And no one yeah. peed or anything. S no one's peed, and then yeah. no one's snapping yeah. as we go to the now, snap. Now the vulnerable ones under Val Kilmer in his new movie at first sight. Here it is. Here's the snap. I know this one's a car. 
He's got the reputation as Hollywood's principal prima donna, but things are about to change as Val Kilmer turns on the charm in his latest movie at first sight, and Snap was there at the US premiere. What if it doesn't work? <laughs> That's right, our Val plays smooth-talking, blind masseurs, Virgil Adamson, who finds love in the shapely form of Mira Sorvino. Hi, I'm Virgil. Hi. Why don't you take your clothes off and hop up on the table? I'll be there in a minute. She persuades him to undergo a radical new operation to restore his eyesight with mixed results. Is it an apple or just a picture of an apple? Look out! <laughs> I don't belong here. I'm not meant to see. Based on the real-life work of the legendary Dr. Oliver Sacks, at first sight is set to become a tear-jerking smash when it hits the UK later this year. Why do you put up with me? Why do you try so hard? We couldn't help but notice, however, that vitriolic Val has gone from ice man to all-round nice man. So this is what beautiful looks like. <laughs> and those silver-tongued one-liners just keep coming and coming. You're very beautiful. Smooth! Can I see all of you? What if you don't like what you see? That's impossible. Ooh, knockout! She falls massively in love with him right away. It's like he revives her whole artistic spirit. Right, well, that's that cleared up, but what about in real life? Did Al Val melt the hearts of his fellow co-stars? I think it's really lovely. I don't know it. Okay, and on a less shallow level... We're not friends, but... We went to school at the same time. We did Top Gun together. It's, you know, we're not friends. I don't call him up, nor does he call me up. We have different lives. He really pursues the truth in his work. And I think some people, you know, that might get in their way, but it certainly didn't get in mine. I, I, I love working with him. And the moral of the story is... That love is worth it. What a guy. Welcome to the Big Breakfast. How about that? I brought some special things over to you from America. Now, Jenny right. knows that I love really bad self-review videos. Nasty videos! Okay. Like Pammy Lee. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to open up. Okay, it's time for American, American Video, Video Nasties. Nasties. Oh, wow. The very Ooh. first one Jen's bought me. This is Sorry You Wanna Be a Gambler. Uh, yes. Good one. Okay, well, just tell me about this then, Okay, Jen. this is presented by John Patrick, cable TV host. He claims, this is the roughest tape I've ever made. Why? <laughs> because I could go on talking about poker until your VCR freezes over. Oh, I and love that. And now I've nice. had it all to Good get line. down in under an hour and a half. Other tapes in the series include Crafts Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and Super Crafts. Super Crafts. <laughs> okay, then. Well, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a little look at it. Here it is. Now, this is what you need in poker. I call it the big six. Remember that. First of all, you have knowledge, you have tactics, you have deception, you have money management, you have guts, and you have psychology. Now, that's a big six. What we're going to do, we're going to take each one of those classifications and explain it to you how you're going to apply what we have to say. <laughs> wow. Wow. How about that? You should add seven to that uh, suspiciously thick hair. All right, what are we doing then? <laughs> what are we doing then? We bet it, Jen. Yeah. We bet it. The bit it goes. Okay, right, I've got number one. two here. I'm... Number two, Burger, Burger Town. Town. Jen, oh, oh this looks fantastic. Good. Doesn't it? What have you brought? That's my favorite one. 50 minutes of tape dedicated to America's love affair with the hamburger. Oh, that's Chronicles brilliant. Chronicles the rise of the hamburger chains and tours the best burger joints in LA. Oh, that would be that. Johnny Rockets, right, baby? Okay. Includes interviews with America's foremost burger historians. Oh. I love that stuff. A burger historian. Nothing like a big thing of beef in your mouth. Oh, how about that? Burger Town. Have we got a clip of this? Can we see a little bit of this? Come on, Jen, let's let's just have a look at it. And it was, uh, the bottom line is it tastes great, and it's very easy to prepare, and it's basic, and it's inexpensive. Basically, it's inexpensive. Yeah. Interesting, but they made it dull, didn't they? Do you know, I used to be a grill chef. I used to have to cook burgers. Really? My record was 32 on a broiler at once. Wow. wow. All right, what do we do with it? Absolutely right. Now, this, right. Is, this is number one. You assure me this is the very worst you've brought this over, Jeff. This is proof of my cultural heritage. Okay, tell you. this is bad, is it? This is bad. I'm so excited. I'm actually, can you see me tremble? No. Can you get that on the close up? My... <laughs> okay. Okay, what is this? My ex boyfriend. I, I knew it was. What, what's it called? The Dreams and Songs of the Noble Old. Can you believe it? Oh. Jen, tell me yes, about I'll this. Yes, I'll tell you about it. 
All right, listen, it's a celebration of the creative role of the elderly in American culture. <laughs> oh, basically my ex-boyfriend. Self-taught and unpaid. <laughs> listen to the sacred harp singers. You can sing beautifully. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're saying it uh, features a feisty union organizer with a love for medieval ballads. A feisty oh, union yeah. organizer. Hey, how you doing? I okay, listen. Uh, Should we have a look at the clip? Yeah, Do you want to see this? Yeah. This is number one. Jenny assures me this is drivel. This is it. Uh, but let's have a look. Here we go. <laughs> Right. That's shocking. Do you want to see some more, guys? No. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, I do. Go no, on, Jen, you've got them really hot. Oh, Carpet, God, do you want to see some more? No. Let's see some. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Thanks, Carp. No! I'm 87. 13 children. Place to count 89 grandchildren. God, I don't know how many great grandchildren. Too many. <laughs> that was me constipated in my room last night. Oh, Jeff. It's the only thing that kind that's of That's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> that isn't that awesome? Can't we see any more of that? No, no. Come on! I know the viewers want more dreams and songs of the noble old. So what do we... But he could do that thing. I, I with his legs. That, can you do that? Well, I'm not doing it now. You can't do that. I'm in fishnets. I am. Uh, okay. But that's even better. But what are we doing? What are we that's doing? a show. Right. What should we do we with it? Spin it! Can I finish? Can I finish it? Yeah, go on, you finish. Oh! I hit the camera. You hit Jenny. Jenny. You didn't Jenny hit the camera. And you hit Jenny the red. I'm sorry. So now that she's going to go embarrassed now. Do you know what? Thank you very much, Jenny, for those videos. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Jenny McCarthy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Jenny McCarthy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Do you fancy winning a massive pile of CDs? Yeah. Because yeah. oh, yes. you can win a pile of CDs as high as you are. That is how high the CDs go. Wow. Uh, have a look at this. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> You could win your height in CDs donated by HMV to celebrate the launch of Channel 4's Music of the Millennium survey if you play our competition X-Rated. For your chance of winning, just identify the object our patient has swallowed and call 0891 44 7744 with your answer. Plus, if you want to take part in the most comprehensive survey of the nation's musical taste and register your vote for your favourite song, album or vocalist, here's your chance. You can pick up a voting form from your High Street record store, log on to our website at bigbreakfast.channel4.com or look at Fortel, page 321. Dairy Lee inside you, Dairy Lee Dunkers, is so delicious and creamy, you'll want to dunk almost anything into it. However, we recommend you dunk the breadsticks provided. Out now, the Dairy Lee you can dunk. How does aromatherapy work? Can yoga really relieve tension or reflexology ease a stiff neck? Find out in Aromatherapy and Natural Health. Every issue comes with an aromatherapy oil. The first is lavender. Why is it so relaxing? Learn to make your own massage blends and how to massage. Find out about gentle therapies like herbalism. Can you boost your energy the natural way? There's an A to Z guide to natural health with everyday uses for things like arnica, chamomile and tea tree oil. Can ginger really help backache? And with a different oil every issue, discover all about aromatherapy and natural health. Whenever little Dudley's side bottom goes into the sweet shop at the bottom of Coco Road, something peculiar always seems to happen. And it usually involves him landing in a big chocolatey puddle. He meets Curly Whirly, who grows Curly Whirlies. And Fudge, who flies through the skies with his rocket-powered fudge machine. Wildlife keeps trying to carve wildlife bars. cuts out millions of buttons and gives them all to Dudley. Chomps always smashing up chomp bars. 
And they all hang out in Cadbury which is a pretty chocolatey place to be. That was a bit of a laugh, wasn't it? Heard the news. New Huggies are now much more absorbent. Doesn't that make them the best Huggies ever? Yeah. Anything on it, monster? Hey, <laughs> milk, please. Playboys, come on. Yeah! Playboys! Yeah! Woo! All right. Whoa! Hey, the Playboys, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, you know what? No, Johnny, you tell me. I reckon this must be just about the greatest country in the world. Yeah! Yeah! I think so. Although I must say, Iraq's a pretty great nation, too. Well, they sure great on me. <laughs> Johnny, you had us all worried there for a second. Uh, I tell you, Jenny, if you were a sheep, I'd worry you any time. <laughs> Johnny, little old dog. <laughs> hey, what about those whoopers, huh? Wouldn't you like to shake them by the hand? I'll shake them any way you like, baby. <laughs> uh, but right now, do you know what? I'm going to do my topical monologue oh for you. Oh, my God! Here comes the big one! I tell you what, I, do you know what? It's good to see Hillary Clinton standing by her man, isn't it? Isn't it good to see that? Do you know what? They call her the first lady. Come on, more like number oh. 354. Oh. <laughs> Everybody laughed and it was... You're killing me! <laughs> hey, what's on the show today? Uh, what is on the show today? After the news, as always, let's hear the theme. Uh, it'll be time to take a stroll through Fleet Street. <laughs> Sorry, my skirt came undone. <laughs> That's OK, go with it. You got fish there, Tom. Hey, you're going out. I mean, shouldn't you be reviewing the paper? No, my microcephalic little mongoose, Fleet Street, is the papers. <laughs> oh. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it was a sort of joke. OK, do you know what? Uh, at 8.15, more dazzling wordplay from the finest subs in the land. Ooh, Johnny. You mean, like, submarines never get too hot? No, my mentally minimal little muffin bun. It's the pun down, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Yeah. And straight after that, one of the uh, stars of one of the most legendary shows in the United States of America, uh, Saturday Night Live. They're going to be live in the house. That's Will Farrell and Chris Kattan. Yeah. How about that? Well, How about uh, that? You know, will they? What? Will Farrell and Chris, you know, Kattan. No, Jenny, my adorably non comprehending little bundle of fun. You're confusing Will, the future participle, with Will, the first or given name of one of our star guests. Lucky isn't known as Willie. <laughs> relationship problems and I'll shake them with the whole world and dear Jenny. That's right. You can email all your questions into Jenny, all your love problems, uh, phone or fax or email. Uh, you know the numbers 0181985, all the ones. I'll try really hard. 0181985, oh, all the twos okay. you want to fax. Bigbreakfast.channel4.com if you want to email her with relationship problems. Do you know what? We're going to be back in a couple of seconds right after you've heard some news and weather from the man, Bill the Bill legend, Bill 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 Good morning. These are the main stories on Thursday, the 21st of January. Anger and fear after two 10-year-olds disappear. How the Germans could kill off Sellafield. And it doesn't have to be a dog's life when you're a dog. The community is furious as well as worried about the disappearance of two 10-year-old girls. Christchurch School in Hastings didn't tell the parents of Lisa Hoodless and Charlene Lennon that they had failed to turn up on Tuesday. So the alarm wasn't raised until 5.30 that afternoon. Uh, but the head of the school governors, uh, Father Richard Harper, insists they played it by the book. 
This school follows the guidance of the local education authority on school attendance. The friend who was with Stephen Lawrence on the night of his murder says that he is still haunted by the tragedy and sick that no one has been brought to justice when police know who killed him. Dwayne Brooks says that he wakes every day happy to be alive but frightened. The Lib Dems are still reeling from the shock of losing their leader. As the dust settles, the big question is, why is he going? After seeing his party double its MPs within a decade, Paddy Ashdown says the answer's obvious. Most party leaders are either carried out or kicked out. I wanted to leave my successor a secure party uh, with a clearly set strategy on the up curve. The government says that 650 tonnes of German nuclear waste at Sellafield will be returned if the Bond government scraps a 10-year contract. The Germans, now, in a green, now with the Greens in a coalition government, are phasing out nuclear power. It could ultimately cost the shutdown of the Cumbria reprocessing plant. Ewan McGregor is appearing on the West End stage with advanced ticket sales already topping a staggering half a million pounds. Little Malcolm and his struggle against the eunuchs transferred to the comedy theatre after a fringe run in North London. The black comedy is directed by McGregor's actor uncle Dennis Lawson. Here's the sport. Stan Collymore's controversial career is on the verge of another twist. The volatile Aston Villa striker says he's sick of being left on the bench while Villa pushed for the title. He says that if things don't change, then he'll have to rethink his position. Looks like a Tio Lombardo's dream of escaping Crystal Palace has come true. The Italian midfielder is on his way home to play for Lazio. Cash-strapped Palace will miss his skills, but not his £15,000 weekly wage bill. Here's the way the weather looks. Temperatures should range from 5 Celsius in Aberdeen to 9 in Plymouth. It's going to be less rain about today, although the southeast will still be quite wet. This morning will start foggy in most areas, brightening up by mid-morning. Southeastern England will be dull and wet. After lunch, the whole country will have sunny spells, and even southern areas should see some sunshine later. Here's the five-day forecast. Northern areas will have wet, windy weather tomorrow, although the weekend should be much brighter. Central regions will be chilly, but dry with more rain expected by Sunday. And for the south, tomorrow should be quite sunny. The weekend will have rain, but next week should be brighter. Now, most dogs like a swim, but not many take it quite as seriously as shadow. The pooch from Houston likes nothing better than a scuba session in full breathing apparatus. And if he's not underwater, then he can be found on it. Or taking to his favourite slope for a spot of hot dogging. Big Breakfast News at 8.04. Back to Johnny and Jenny with a newspaper review. Oh, yes. <laughs> OK, do you know what? Uh, thank you very much indeed, Phil Gale. You're right Great. there, Phil. Thanks, Phil. Doing well. Doing Bearing well. up at the halfway stage, the pressure of going out to a global audience, that hasn't got to you yet? Uh, I think I'm handling it all right. I'm standing up to it. Hello, OK, what about that? the global audience? Phil <laughs> 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 Gale, he's... Yeah. Yeah. That's a personal guarantee. Do you know what I can hear? Oh, oh yes. 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 Yes, right where it hurts, baby. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, Richard Randall's in the house. Morning, morning, Richard. Yay! Richard Randall is our, just for the global audience, he's our resident uh, interior home wrecker. OK, uh -huh. he's, he's a resident designer, he's one of the best interior designers in the business. Yes. What I just said then was absolute scurrilousness. <laughs> OK, uh, The Telegraph, uh, sad news, really. Uh, Ashdown to quit as leader. Um, leader of himself, I think he's the only one in Parliament. Uh, Paddy Ashdown, the oldest and longest serving party leader, announces he will stand down as the Liberal Democrat leader. Oh. Uh, it says there he spent a career championing the third way. You see, I feel kind of sorry, this is a guy, he's the Liberal Party. You've got okay. the Conservatives, they were traditionally more right wing, Labour traditionally left wing, Liberals right in the middle. Suddenly everyone just queered his pitch, didn't they? Yeah. Everyone just moved in on his turf. Suddenly he's thinking, well, what do I represent now? I was the middle way, now everyone else is. What do I do? Mm. Uh, so no, he's gone, just given up. Mm. Uh, the Guardian, held by one of your friends. Yes. Who is that? Tell us who that Will is. Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan. Oh, yeah. there they are. Yeah. 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 Oh. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the show. Excellent to have you here. Thank you for having us. OK, uh, having but us. Uh, The Guardian there. Ashdown, it's time to go. Uh, this is more right on here. the uh, pants down, stand down. Uh, denial and exit. And uh, beautifully illustrated there. Almost could be out the shopping channel the way you're doing that. It's lovely. OK, uh, and the mail, held by uh, his chum, is uh, how could they just disappear? Parents are distraught over Lisa and Charlene, the 10-year-old schoolgirls who disappeared 36 hours ago whilst making a 400-yard trip to school. How about that? So uh, that story will be developing, doubtless, over the next few days. Uh, do you know what? What? That's a bit serious, isn't it? Let's get in there. Yeah. Let's get in there and get in keep it shallow. Yeah. Now, you remember yesterday, Sophie Reese jones who's Prince Edward's uh, wife-to-be. Yeah, she was uh, tanning and naked. Yes. Do you know their son delighted in telling us that when she goes for a sunbed, she prepares to be blasted as she stands there naked. An ultraviolet ray. She's <laughs> naked in there. She's naked. Uh, but today it seems the Telegraph's got in on the act. Look at this. Uh, look at this shot here from the, the Telegraph. Are you ready for this? 
Do you realise underneath those clothes she is naked? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, yes. Rubbing That's against that shot. wall is naked so flesh. Uh, oh yes. Um, do you know what? Uh, you actually listen to the, the thing they've said here. Sophie Rhys Jones, who is to marry Prince Edward, they're really getting into the whole sexy nakedness with it. I feel. Uh, who is to marry Prince Edward celebrated her 34th birthday yesterday, but spent the day at her Mayfair office. Whoa. Oh yeah, Mayfair. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And then back to her penthouse in her fiesta. Uh, she rustles up an outfit to go on the razzle uh, with the Playboy Prince. Come on. Read between the lines. Um, but she also asked the assistant to take away her flowers there because she needed deflowering. Okay, Ooh. do you know what? Um, <laughs> Bible bashers chained their boy of ten to, uh, to a wall and whipped him with cable as part of his Christian upbringing. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Uh, a court term. <laughs> Terrified. Emmanuel is French. Uh, this is happening in France. <laughs> Terrified, Emmanuel Toussaint uh, was tortured daily for a year after school. Ooh, At wow. weekends, he was hung upside down. Dad, Joseph, 44, and Mum, the O'Lane, uh, <laughs> said they were stopping him stealing sweets from a shop in Conflans saint henri in Paris. Uh, why is it the most overtly Christian people... At school? Uh, I went to 12 years all-girl Catholic school. Ooh. The nuns beat me. Yeah. What is it about Christian teachers? They believe there has to be that cruelty How about this? They need sex. Well, it could be that. But we, I mean, I don't know if you want to write it, but were your religious studies teachers always the most kind of... Every religious studies teacher I think I ever had was always regarded as like... Oh, they always had the prefix, the epithet, psycho so and so. Yeah. Oh, we've got divinity today with psycho... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I, one guy, actually, he, I, I shouted out an answer in a religious studies general knowledge test. Uh, and I just shouted out an answer. I just shouted, Sparrow! As a joke. <laughs> uh, or spag. And uh, he prayed in front of the whole class the next morning before beating me in the stationary cupboard. Oh, yeah. Sister Mary Clementa. That's not very Christian, is it? It's not no. very Christian at all. OK, here's another unusual thing a teacher's doing. Mm. Uh, a language teacher forced a pupil... This is in England. A language pupil... A language teacher who forced a pupil aged 14 to lie bare-chested on drawing pins as punishment for mistakes in his Spanish homework pleaded guilty to common assault yesterday. Come on, that's not a common assault. That's uncommon. Uh, the court was told that uh, the guys ahead of modern languages at school, which cannot be identified, had asked the boy to call at his home on November the 2nd last year because he'd failed to submit his Spanish homework on time. He tested the boy on Spanish verbs, requiring him to perform a forfeit for each error he made. First, he had to stand on one leg, then he had to do press-ups, uh, and then, for the third, drawing pins were scattered across the floor, <laughs> and the boy, no, the boy had to uh, then remove his shoes and walk across them. <laughs> Yes, I say no, to I you. Don't yeah, yeah. Next, the boy had to remove his top and lie bare-chested on the drawing pins. What? Uh, <laughs> they couldn't even be pretending it's normal. Yeah. For the next forfeit, the defendant brought in a piece of ice and put this on the boy's chest. He had all the equipment knocking around, didn't he? And at the very end, it says his lawyer said, "I think that people who spend a lot of time with children perhaps start to think like children." Oh, yeah, I remember that old game. The one where you used to go around to a friend's house and recite Spanish verbs, and if a mate got one wrong, you made him lie down on drawing pins. What a fun game that was. Absolutely rubbish. OK, uh, the sun. Uh, this is a sun spot. Uh, bank robber Arnie... I like this story. It's quite sweet. Cool. OK, a bank robber Arnie Wilson. He fainted as staff finally handed over a bag full of cash, and he was then arrested. <laughs> just ask the cash. The cash was thought I just passed out. Like I just couldn't believe it. He was so excited. Yeah, he's thinking, what a result. Um, <laughs> uh, patients moved to beat drug famine. This is a sad story mm. uh, in our gentle country. Mm. Uh, patients who cannot get drugs for serious illnesses on the National Health Service because of postcode prescribing uh, should move house, a health service leader yeah. said yesterday. So it's a bit the same as with the education system. You know when people want to get their kids in a good school, right. you move to a good area. Exactly. Well, because of the health service budget, it's getting like that in Britain. So if you want certain things, move to that with area. With healthcare. With healthcare, yeah. Just as, just as parents move to areas where there are better schools, people denied treatment because of local cost cutting are being advised to find health authorities which ration services less. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking, when you now drive into counties in Britain, you go, you, it just says, Welcome to Cornwall, the coronary county. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, Hampshire, home of the hip replacement, <laughs> on either side. Uh, bumper stickers, Derbyshire, does it on dialysis. <laughs> uh, you get game shows, people are going, uh, All right, well, what's your name, where are you from? Ayrshire. Oh, how is the ruptured spleen? Uh, Ayrshire. Or uh, Norfolk. I believe you've got a funny story about irritable bowel syndrome. Um, not saying that happens in Norfolk. Sorry, Ed. Uh, Ed, our leader there, obviously, from Norfolk. OK. Uh, this is a new thing. Now, in this country, we have the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme. The Duke uh -huh. of Edinburgh, years ago, instituted this thing so kids do worthy things. Bronze, silver, gold. 
and that's what you get. It's real. It's meant oh. to be a big deal. I'm not sure if it counts, but anyway, listen to this. A Millennium Fellowship scheme. It's another Millennium thing. <laughs> More Millennium hogwash. Burn, yeah. uh, with the potential to rival the Duke of Edinburgh's own system of awards will be launched by Tony Blair today. Governor Blair. Blair! Governor of the State of Britain. Um, fellowships will be presented to individuals who have used a Millennium Commission grant to complete a community project. Mr Blair believes that Blair uh, believes that the uh, new awards will encourage more people to apply for bursaries worth around £2,000. He also got to £10,000. I worked out the scheme's going to cost us £80 million. 80 million quid. Mm. But it says here as well, the interesting thing, successful fellows will be given a certificate to honour their achievement and ministers hope it will eventually be regarded as just as valuable a qualification as the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme. <laughs> Precisely, you know what I mean? Well, I don't think... Uh, has anyone got any Duke of Edinburgh award schemes here? No. 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 You've got one, Grant. No. no. Chris you just has got one. Just, Chris, Chris has, has got one. <laughs> has, has it been handy to you as you've searched for jobs? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> OK, there we go. <laughs> I just think this is... Uh, anyway, I just can't believe they're doing that. It seems to me you've already got one award scheme in place. What's the point of another? Just yeah. as invaluable. Mm. Uh, this is a Brazilian drug smuggler. Uh, he's in a wheelchair. Yeah? He's been in a wheelchair. He's cri guy's crippled. Uh, suddenly getting to court, just gets up, gets up and runs off. Get out. All the time he could walk. He was just putting the wool over there. <laughs> just leapt from the chair and sprinted off. Constantino de Silva. Uh, Oh, hey. Brazil, where well, hearts were entertaining you. <laughs> uh, Constantino de Silva, 45, made his escape while being taken from prison to a hospital in Seville, southern Spain, for a checkup. Mm. Good one. Yeah. Uh, mm. Pigeons shoot out at Blair's house. Uh, a member of Tony Blair's police protection squad let loose with his heckler and kosh. What? Uh, machine gun. What? Uh, because he, was, he heard noises in the undergrowth <laughs> and loads of pigeons <laughs> floating. <laughs> this is up and down. He just opened fire. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, he said it. The point is, they've cleared up. It wasn't an accident. They've had to clear this up. He didn't just panic and do it. He really thought there was danger, which is kind of almost more disturbing. The fact yeah. he was using his training yeah. to gun down pigeons with a machine gun. Uh, but anyway, they have said that none of the pigeons are injured, so that's good news. Uh, but let's hope he doesn't go on duty in Trafalgar Square. That was in Durham. Um, after the death in County Kerry of 87-year-old Sean, can you read Gaelic? No. Come on, I know you can. <laughs> Of course you can. Uh, after the death, this is just an odd sort of quote here. After the death in County Kerry of 87-year-old Sean O'Guthin, uh, one of only four surviving natives of the Blasket Islands, the Republic of Ireland's most westerly territory, a friend offers a moving tribute. I don't wish to use a cliché, Michael DeMarda tells the Irish Times, but nibithith atlithith arithan. Come on, that old chestnut. <laughs> Try your clichés out of me. Do you know what? That's the end of today's paper review. Yeah! for life starts at seven. It certainly does, Jen. Yeah, yeah. Yes! This woman is about to save someone's life. Yesterday, she gave blood. Do something amazing today. Call 0345 711 711. Please. Trekking through the jungle to the volcano With our tail of Choco Crispy We travel quite slow At the top we found a lake full of milk to the brim So we opened up our bags and pulverized it Oh yeah! Crisp rice, mega sandwich, really chocolate Bursting with cocoa's carbohydrates With Kellogg's Choco Krispies, it's a venture all the way! So we got down our surfboards and down we whiz! Cos we'd rather have a bowl of Choco Krispies
boys in the house. So. I'm a bit hungry. My Are you hungry? My stomach's growling. Really? Yeah. Can we have some um, food on the floor, please. It's live, so come on over and bring me an egg McMuffin, will you, from McDonald's? Do you want one of these muffins? They're freshly baked by our new catering team. Oh, uh, absolutely right. <laughs> it was the correct reaction. Do you know what? It's the what? pun down with the fun down. Get your mum down I for the pun down. down. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Here we oh, go. It's back. a pun down. Oh, we're back. <laughs> Hello there, the global audience. Mm. Uh, you can chat to Jenny after the show today, bigbreakfast.channel4.com. Uh, you can chat to her live globally. Yeah, I'll be talking away. Okay. Uh, any love problems for Jenny as well? 018198518985. All ones. 018198518985. All the time. Bigbreakfast.channel4.com. Come on, you do it fast. Ow. Okay. What's the matter with your fishnets? My fishnet. <laughs> okay, here okay. we go. Uh, son, story. A man retires after cutting hair for 30 years. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready? The pun says, Dun Coman. Oh! oh! It's good pun. Yeah, okay, good. warming up. Paper. The star. Oh, the star. That's your favourite paper, isn't it, the star? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, you like the star. That's why we did the big photo thing. You like that? Yeah, it's, it's a tad one. Look at my paper. Star, story. <laughs> Toll bridge operators make a blind woman pay for an ambulance to take her across. It's cruel but fair, you know what I mean? They've all got to pay. Yes, yeah. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay. The pun says, told hearted. Oh. Oh. That does seem absolutely shocking, doesn't it? I mean, that was me pretending to back that, but that's just shocking. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's sort of sunk in what I've done now. Shocking. Oh, I'm bitter and twisted. Okay. No. Uh, number yeah. one, the paper. Mirror. The mirror. 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 English viewers, that's mirror. Hey, I got some Americans with me today. Uh, mirror. They say mirror, mirror as well. Mirror. 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 Oh dear. Gang, gang, gang. Subversion from within. Okay. Uh, mirror story. A guard of Tony Blair shoots suspicious pigeons with a submachine gun. We covered that story in the paper. That's right. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a beautiful pun. In the file marked G for genius. Check it out. Halt. Kugos oh, Blair. Yeah. Like a diamond bullet right through the forehead. Yes, you your third eye. Are you quite aware of that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys, coming up soon, we have the craziest, zaniest, funniest guys ever to come out of Saturday Night Live. Um, it's Will Ferrell and Chris Catana. Can't wait. And, 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 if you want to know what's coming up on tomorrow's show, feed your minces on this. Yep. Whoa! On Jenny's final big breakfast tomorrow, another pushy mum plugs her talented offspring. We check out what's new on the high street with Ashley Rossiter. Plus, you can win your heightened CDs with our clinical competition, X-Rated. All this and more on your big breakfast tomorrow, where life starts at 7. Jenny's lost the cards. I don't think it'll matter. No! Raise the rope. Raise the rope. Okay. Raise the rope. Uh, time now to meet two stars of the top top American TV show Saturday Night Live, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, huge. Is it? It's huge it's show. It's huge. It's a big American institution, isn't it? We've it's, heard of it over it's, here. It's we get gigantic, occasional. And it's hilarious. Yeah. It's Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, Mike Myers, everyone. They're John Belushi. They're and these all guys there. do some of my favorite characters. Okay. Uh, they're, they're very famous for their Roxbury Guys sketch, I gather. It's said to be one of the funniest ever. Uh, now they too have made a movie. Please welcome Will Ferrell and Chris. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, it's very nice to see you. Good to have you down here. Um, so who are the Roxbury guys? The Roxbury guys are... <laughs> <laughs> we LA were not boys. expected to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they're loserish club guys that every, every so place knows who, of. Oh, guys who want to go into the clubs, you know, and... Uh... But you guys actually based this off someone, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we saw a guy, we were, we were in Los Angeles in a club and saw this guy standing up against a wall, just kind of observing. Checking the room. <laughs> around yeah. Looking at the girls. And we literally, uh, hey, what's up? But you nobody wanted to out? At all. What's going on? And uh, <laughs> we stood, we were with a group of friends. We stood, like, on either side of him and just basically mocked him. Oh, my God. And he never knew. And we just did a little performance for our friends. And so if, if he looked my way, I would stop if he looked Chris way. You guys, what do you think the difference is between L.A. guys and the guys out here? Um, T. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. <laughs> They're not all. No. Hmm. Well, no, actually, I'm not sure. I haven't gone out. Yeah. Do you know what? We're going to have a look at a clip of the Roxbury guys. Oh, okay. Oh! In, just in case that still remains a bit abstract for the gang right. here collective. Yeah. Let's have a look. Okay.
we're going out on the net this morning, but I gather that the, the Roxby guys, they're huge on the net. There are pages and pages devoted to them. Thousands of websites. Thousands. Yeah, there's, uh, I think, over 11,000 websites. Seriously? Is it quite spooky? Is it quite spooky when you... I don't know. Just from... I don't think there are any websites. Yeah, there's one, I think. I get no, we've looked it up. There's, I think, 22,000 different entries. Really? I mean, they're pretty big. It sort of struck a chord globally. Yeah. Were you aware when you saw this guy that it's a global phenomenon, like the net itself? No, we had no idea. What happened there? Nothing. Just a little itch. It's my problem. I'll deal with it. There is a little dog pee. I know. I don't mind it. You, know what, you, you know, smell like dog food. I know. Yeah. Well, well okay. I smell like B.O., so we all have something all in common. You, go, you yeah. know what I really want to know, you guys, uh, with auditioning for Silent Live? Yeah. What did you guys do to get that role? Uh, did, you did you have to do a lot of characters? No, it was actually kind of, you had to do like one political impersonation if you could do one. Can you do it? A celebrity. Well, I did, uh, I did a, a, a Ted Kennedy doing stand-up comedy. Okay. Uh, so what... He was like, uh, uh, good evening. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we have many people from out of town. Uh, listen, I was, uh, I was driving my car the other day, and uh, I drove it off a bridge. Uh, needless to say, uh, I couldn't find my girlfriend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, also, yeah. uh, you also do, you also do uh, Saddam Hussein. Yeah, I did, I, I've done Saddam. On Can you the show. give us a burst he's, of Saddam? Uh, I, I do a very. Uh, he's a house favorite. I do. He's a house favorite. <laughs> Everyone loves Saddam. Uh, <laughs> no, I do a, like a. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's wonderful to be here on the Big Breakfast. <laughs> it's wonderful. No, I can tell you, Johnny, you're fantastic. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Do you know what? We've got uh, another clip of the Roxby guys. I gather uh, they end up pulling. They end up pulling chicks. Uh, so let's have a look at the clip. Here we okay. go. Hey. <laughs> Richard Grieco is this guy in America that's basically, mm, God, how do you describe it? Hamster poo next to Tommy Lee, which is already poo. Well, that's good. Uh, thank you. That's, that's double poo. That's, that's double yeah. crap. And um, <laughs> basically, their hero in the movie is him. And he, you know, what? I actually think he took the role because I think it was a compliment to him. You know? Probably. I think well, he so. was probably yeah. like, I am their hero. Yeah. And he yeah. took it seriously. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I just noticed while uh, reading through your briefs, you also yeah. write as well as being cast members for Saturday Night Live. Yeah, we do a lot of that's writing. Big, that's quite a big pressure every week to have to worry about both things, both performance and writing. How do you deal with that? And what are some uh, of the well, I actually got fired from the show last week because uh, I wasn't <laughs> writing enough. Shut no, I'm not sure. I can't write. I have no use of my hands. <laughs> that's not what I've heard, Chris. Oh! Wow! Oh. Raise the roof! Raise it! Nobody knows that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> question check. Oh, yeah, this is what I want to know. What? Can you do this for me? Oh, okay. I'll Isn't it Monkey Boy? Monkey Boy. Yeah, yeah. you Monkey Boy. Okay, okay well, just, just give us the billing. Is. What is this, Norman? What is this to Americans? This, I can see you're very excited, Jen. Basically, you know those little, you know. Da -da 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 -da, the little monkey things? <laughs> You know, it's, they do little human. tricks. Except like he's supposed to be do something. like the missing link. He's supposed to be missing like, like okay. half monkey, half man. Okay, half right, monkey, so half man. Okay. okay, ready? Okay. It's just a stupid <laughs> physical thing. Okay, here we go. You like that? No, you don't? Okay. It's, I'm getting away from it. The film is out on March Guys, the 29th. I know you're sticking around for now. Will Ferrell and Chris Catan, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, thank you. So come on back to the right. It is the last half hour. This is Channel 4 and you're watching Big Breakfast. We're live. Starts at 7. How about Ooh. that?
Breaking through the jungle to the volcano With our tail of Choco Krispies We travel quite slow At the top we found a lake full of milk to the brim So we opened up our bags And passed them right in Oh yeah Crisp rice, mega sandwich, really chocolate Bursting with cocoa's carbohydrates With Kellogg's Choco Krispies It's a venture all the way So we got down our surfboards And down we win Cause we'd rather have a bowl of Choco Krispies <laughs> Polo Superman. The powerful miniature mint with the hole. Out now. Welcome back to the show. Do you know what? Right. It's Thursday, the 21st of Super January. I'm Johnny Vaughan. And I'm Jenny McCarthy. Oh, yes! Yeah. Not only that, it is Dog Day! Yeah. Do you know what? Um, no, not, not yet, not yet, not yet, Playboy. Uh, do you know what? It is Dog Day. No Dog Day is complete without a doggy trick. Now, we managed to record a dog trick earlier. Uh, <laughs> see him off! Um, this, is, this is a stupid... Uh, this is a trick from Marcus, the performing dog. Have a look. We saw this earlier. Didn't have time to show it to you. Here we go. Oh, yeah. No, it's not finished yet. Oh, yeah. And again, and again. Whee! Oh, how about that? Whee! Go, no, that, that. Whee! 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 Now, that's it a dog. It goes on for about an hour, that. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's actually creepy stuff, but it's extraordinary the dog that size can go through a hoop like that. Doesn't seem possible, does it, until no. the dog goes through? Is it a female? I um, hope. well, yeah, you hope, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go, what are we. <laughs> Here's us yakking. Look at the time, Jen. It's 8.29. It can only mean one thing. Ooh. Tell them, boys. It's time for the last half hour! Your private personal problems made public in our no holds barred advice slot, dear Jenny. That's right, I'll be slipping in my overalls and messing around with Richard Rendo. You're gonna love that, Richard's great. Is he? He gets real funny around oh, shit. Oh, that's good. Uh, what's up, Doc? It's up. We've got an X rated quiz on today for you, of course, uh, where you can win your height in CD. That's right. Okay. But right now, it's over to Phil Gale with Big Breakfast News and Weather. Yay! Good morning. These are the main stories on Thursday, the 21st of January. Classmates say the girls plan to run away. Stephen's best pal speaks of his utter frustration and why many lords aren't a leaping after all. Police are investigating claims that, two, that the two missing 10-year-olds boasted to classmates that they planned to run away from home. Lisa Hoodless and Charlene Lunnan haven't been seen since setting off for Christchurch School in Hastings on Tuesday morning. The school didn't tell, tell their parents when they failed to show up, so police weren't called in until 5.30 that evening. Stephen Lawrence's best friend has told how he has lived in fear since Stephen's murder. Duane Brooks was there six years ago when the white thugs struck. He's been haunted by it and by the bungled police inquiry which followed. Duane says that racism was obvious from the start. I gave a description, I gave Stephen's address, I gave his name, I gave my address, I gave my name. I told him a lot of stuff, a lot of information, yet they still persisted in asking me silly questions like, have I got any weapons on me? Paddy Ashdown is pondering his future now that he's handed in his notice. The Lib Dem leader, who will probably be best remembered for the Sun headline Paddy Pants Down that followed the discovery of his infidelity, is standing down at the next election. Supporters say he's done a tremendous job, but critics say he's quitting while he's ahead. And critics are also saying that Tony Blair is backtracking on his promised reform of the House of Lords. He pledged to scrap all hereditary peers. Instead, the government is allowing 91 to retain their powers for the time being. At some stage, voters will be able to choose the so-called people's peers. Chaos reigns in much of the West Country, where many residents are suffering their fourth day of flooding. Six rivers remain on red alert, following three inches of rainfall in 24 hours. Worst affected are Somerset, North Devon and South Wiltshire. An anti-smoking initiative aimed at young tobacco addicts is being hailed as a success. Thousands of children smoke, thousands of child smokers call the Health Education Authority quitline after seeing the two and a half 
half million pound TV and poster campaign. Some of the calls were just eight years old. Basketball wild man Dennis Rodman has done a quick U-turn and announced that he's coming out of retirement. The NBA star posted his decision on his internet site. Uh, Rodman announced his retirement only on Tuesday amidst rumours that the Chicago Bulls were to trade him to the New York Knicks. The government has again been urged to back the British film industry. The plea follows news that investment in UK film production dropped by 15% last year. A fewer US-backed movies were made in Britain. The strong pound was thought to be partly to blame. There's the way the weather looks. Temperatures should range from 5 Celsius in Aberdeen to 9 in Plymouth. There'll be less rain about today, although the southeast will still be quite wet. Uh, this morning will start foggy in most areas, brightening up by mid-morning, southeastern England will be dull and wet. After lunch, the whole country will have sunny spells and even southern areas should see some sunshine later. Here's a five-day forecast. Northern areas will have wet, windy weather tomorrow, although the weekend should be much brighter. Central regions will be chilly, but dry with more rain expected by Sunday. And for the south, tomorrow should be quite sunny. The weekend will have rain, but next week should be brighter. That's the Big Breakfast News at 8.33. Back to Johnny and Jenny. Yay! <laughs> That's yeah. right, dear Jenny, it's time for me to try to help. Uh, uh -huh. That's right. Now, this week, Jenny McCarthy has provided the emotional glue that sticks relationships back together. Right, gang? Yeah. She certainly yeah. has. Uh, right. She's shown her caring and sensitive side and has generously shared uh, this with y'all. Uh, so we made a get back in the shed where singled out, don't touch Jenny, number one rule still applies. I've got your calls and faxes for her with your relationship problems. Here's the first one. Dear Jenny. Yes. I'm in the fourth form at school. How old would that make so we're going to find Senior? out? Senior? Uh, no, fourth form. What, what's fourth form? 13. 14, 14 years. Oh my god. I'm in the fourth form at school and I have a major crush on one of my teachers. I just sit and stare at him during lesson times. I realize we can never have a relationship, but I just can't stop thinking about it. What should I do? You know what? That's prepubescent. We've all had crushes on teachers. But let me tell you, get rid of that fast because I've been there with an older person and everything sags and shrivels up and it's no fun, honey. So move on to someone young who could, um, but it's quite a harmless crush as well, isn't it? It's a harmless crush. It's not. It's kind of but like, it's kind of like being in love with boy bands. No. They're never going to let them down, are they? No, never that's what I'm saying. Heart. It's a pretty lesson thing. Everybody's been there, but <sighs> dream your little dream, but move on. Don't take it too seriously. Good advice, Jen. Mm -hmm. Very good advice. Thank that's you. Come, and that's coming at you straight from the heart. Oh. Okay. Dear Jenny, last week my best mate's ex-boyfriend asked me out. Ooh. The problem is, I've secretly fancied him for ages and would love to go out with him, but I'm worried about my friend finding out. What should I do? Right. This is a difficult one, yeah, isn't it? No, it's not. Because let me tell you something. My female friends, my little girlfriends back in Chicago, mm. we made a pact from day one. If you have girlfriends, you don't screw around with their man. Okay. You just don't do it. Same with okay. sisters, cousins, whatever. You just don't do it. You I make know, but, some, but you know, no, love, love's you a funny thing, no, you know what no, I mean? No, I don't and care. It's, I don't care. It's wrong, and you're a bad, bad girl. Don't do it. So she shouldn't do it. No, it's it's totally wrong, and there's nothing more to say except, don't be a fool because your friendship is worth so much more. And you've actually, do you see many of your friends from Chicago still? Yeah, oh God, yeah. Love okay, them. Okay, that's that's all I was gonna say. No, I live miles away. Never see them, so that's great. <laughs> Pack works fine for me. Okay, here we go. Uh, next one. So the answer is don't do it again. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, you're really advising people to be very strong. Oh, I'm all about power. It really is. I'm like a spice girl. Because you never. No, <laughs> well, not quite. Um, but you know, humans are so weak. The flesh is so weak. They are. And, and, you know, and it's so hard to be strong when there's that, you know, that moment there. It's for... true, but it does come with age. Like, you learn lessons in life. You just got to keep building up, and eventually you'll get that strength. Okay, okay. Thank you, Jenny. I need your strength. Mm. Okay, dear Jenny. I have to serious for a moment. To yeah, you did. That's good, though. It's yeah, nice. Yeah. It's advice from the heart. It's what the punters want. It is. Okay, dear Jenny, my ex-boyfriend is just about to set up home with his new girlfriend. Yeah? However, we still meet up and sleep together. Oh. Should I wait for him? Uh, as when he's with me, I know he still has feelings for me. Or should I let him just go and live with her when I truly feel he should be with me? Here we go. OK, check. Yeah. I don't know if you know this term, but it's called karma, baby. OK, OK. What goes around comes around. And if you're going to screw around like that, it's just going to come right back at you when you fall in love with someone else. OK. So don't do it. Let it go. There's a lot of other little fishies in the sea. But what do you think about the guy as well? I mean, he's playing a fairly bad well, guy. You know he doesn't what? sound like a good guy. That's that's not her problem in terms of him and the other woman's relationship. That's something he's going to deal with. His karmic little thing's going to come back and haunt him. Don't worry about that right now. He's a fool. He's a jackass. Whatever. Yeah. Leave it. Leave it alone and just don't do it. Do you also think that if she leaves him alone to do that, mm -hmm. yeah, he might even come back? He might even yes. actually... Yeah, that, that's, like that's, if you let it go, if it comes back, yeah. it's meant to be. Because sometimes people like these things as a kind of safety net. So they can go off and have their relationships. They know all the time they've got that person there all waiting for them. And actually, if that goes away, somebody's like, where's my safety net? 
You turn in like this. Yeah. Wait, what happened? Yeah, what exactly happened? right. I've so it's there. not always, if in doubt, I've back been. off. Okay. Back off. Okay, last problem, Jenny. You ready? Ooh, yeah. Uh, I left my husband four times, but keep going back to him. I don't really enjoy being with him, but I just feel so guilty about ending my ma marriage. Uh, I left my husband four times, keep going back to him. I don't really enjoy being with him. I just feel so guilty about ending the marriage. We've only been married eight months. Okay. Wow. Uh, the problem is he now has loads of money and he treats me like a princess. Should I stay with it or end it now? And give me this. What's her name? Gail. Gail, I'm so ashamed of you. You're a woman, man. You know, make a woman, man. You're a woman, <laughs> dude. Well, you're a man, woman, man. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Make it. You know what? I, I think it's just, it, it's, it's horrible. I mean, don't settle. That's my little key phrase here. Um, don't settle. Don't settle because Bumper sticker we all been in relationships where we're kind of just hanging there. We might not like the person, and it just lingers on. You don't know what to do because you still want to have the companionship. You got to get out, find someone else, and move on. Is this, actually, this obviously isn't a good relationship, is it? No, I mean, it's ridiculous. She's just probably horny. Randy. <laughs> okay, thoughts. there we go. <laughs> nice one, Jen. Jenny McCarthy there. Yeah. Doing nice. I don't Straight know what I'm talking we'll about. We'll be doing that again tomorrow. There's loads more problems. You know, the problems are stacked up. It's extraordinary. We've had thousands. Never had such a big response. In just a few seconds, Jenny will be lounging around with Richard Randall. But first, here's a very important message from a man in a purple lycra bodysuit. Join the webmaster today and log on to bigbreakfast.channel4.com as the whole show goes live worldwide on the internet. Plus, as a special treat at 9.30 today, web mistress Jenny McCarthy will go online to answer your questions. So remember, it's bigbreakfast.channel4.com and your chance to chat with Jenny McCarthy as the Big Breakfast goes global. Web webmaster. Richard Randall. Yeah. Jenny, hey, baby. Jenny, Jenny. Yeah. Kisses, kisses. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. We got a lot going on today, don't we? We've got so much. You've got so much going on. I don't know about us. Right, we're doing a lounge. Yes. With loads of celebs, just top celebs. Ooh. Lisa Tarbuck started off by choosing these fabulous walls. Wow. Beautiful. Like them. Did Colors her own piece of art. Want Fantastic that. piece of art. Caprice last week uh -huh. demanded yellow roses in every room that she goes in, so we've got yellow roses for her. So everyone put their own little touch. Wooden floor. Laid a wooden floor for her specially, and then did these fantastic pigeonholes. Two eighty-eight each. That's about four dollars, five dollars. You've got to be kidding me. So we're doing it all on a budget, but doesn't it look fantastic? It's it's literally insane. I'd fly you over to America and have you do my house. And I want your personality. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want this, this <laughs> screaming Jenny McCarthy. You know that could be quite dangerous. <laughs> do you have me all over here? Ooh, don't want to talk about that. Okay. So, so what do you got for me? Well, a little birdie told me that you adore floor cushions. I love floor cushions. So look what I've got for you. Yeah, party people oh. over. You want to just lounge around, watch a night's flick, and look at these. Oh. Now I got these from my local market <laughs> store. You know these were four pounds fifty. So that's out. about six dollars. Six wow. bucks. Now we're make, we're making sure that they're flame retardant because you are hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's really good. So we have Keep to going. make sure that they're safe. As I say, because you are cooking, and we're going to cover them. I thought in this fantastic denim. Let's do it. Do you want to get down to it? <laughs> no. <laughs> this... Dog day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do we got going on? Do you think this is brilliant? This was two pound a meter. <sighs> denim. Denim, and that's cool now. And fashion days. is in. Yeah, oh, interiors are inspired by fashion at the moment. So pinstripes are in. Where pin have pinstripe fabric at the window. Denim's in. Wear denim. Have denim in your interior. So we're going to use denim. Oh, cool. But I think this is just a bit too plain. So we are going to jazz them up with oh. these wonderful stamps. Cool. Available in most DIY shops. How much? At the moment, do, uh, do it all. These are a couple of pounds each. Dolphins, very special. Brush strokes, these are fabulous uh, stamps. Dolphin. And shall I show you what I've just done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to have a look what we've done already? <gasps> oh, cute. So there's all these colours to choose. Okay, I want to put one on. I want to put one on. Oh, what could you go for? A what? No, brown. Uh. Yeah, I'm not colour blind. <laughs> do you see brown there? No. So what you need to do is put it on with that. Oh, I put it on with this. Dab into your paint. Okay. Onto your. Do what is it, a dolphin you've chosen? It's a dolphin because it's very special. Very special to me and my man. Secret Hi, is honey. not too much paint. <laughs> not too that's much That's not paint. too so much paint. No, that's fine. So okay, where can I stamp it? Do, do it on the fabric. <laughs> I got great nail polish today. It's all matching, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yes! yes! I so love that! So what we'll do is we'll do that all over the floor cushions right for next week. You will? We, we will, And yeah. I can take one home with me so I can remember? Oh, you can have a lot. Oh, have yeah. a lot. I love him. So we need to do an interesting light. Yes, we so do. everybody's got Christmas tree lights left over. What do you think to my balls? Got oh these for God. you specially. I love your balls. Coloured balls. <laughs> this is brilliant. They just reek How of you. How much? They How much? Five pounds. Oh, oh, yes! Yes! 
and I have put them in... Let me move, I need to move over. I've put them in this fabulous vase. Climbing Just stack them up. The so do you want to have a go at arranging my balls? Yes, 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 I'll arrange them. Stuff them. Ready for the big switch? Smash em. Ready for the big turn on? Yeah, let's do it. Oh my god! And you just put this in the corner of the room. Put it in the corner of the room, not atmosphere, dark let me, room. Just let me don't practice. think that look fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now I asked you, I've asked everybody for something of their input into this room. What would you say you have to have oh, in your house? Oh, let me just tell you something, okay? I've got about 300. Oh, yellow. I've got <laughs> 300 candles in my own home, and so I've got these for this little set. So you can remember me. Oh. And candles you... are very spiritual, and they'll bring you good energy while I'm gone. <laughs> oh, are you going somewhere? I'm, I, I'm not hosting the show next week. Oh. No, but forget about that. Come on, you, you will always remain in these candles. And we'll put That's those right. in the pigeonholes, in Caprice's pigeonhole. I so love that. Thank you so much. Would you guys give him a hand? Thank you so much. You're the bomb, man. Yeah. You're the pink daddy. Okay, you guys, after the break, I'll be revealing all in our competition X-rated. This is Channel 4, and you're watching The Brig Breakfast, where life starts at 7. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Axel Astra has Lotus Tune suspension. It has 100% enhanced torsional stiffness. It's welded to the road. This La Crunch Gala has a superb bouquet of honeysuckle, and the taste. Ah, as sweet as heaven itself. But have you considered the tart La Crunch, Braben? Tempting the sense is like a concerto of sunbeams. You seem to have overlooked the La Crunch Red, the Granny Smith, and the sublime Golden Delicious. Mm. Ah, no rest for the wicked. What have you got? Colouring in. La Crispy, La Tasty, La Crunch. <laughs> Suffering with a cold? Can't breathe properly. Just sit down, close your eyes, and take a deep breath of Vicks Vapor Rub. Two spoonfuls in a bowl of steaming hot water release the Vicks Vapors to clear the passages and help you breathe more easily. A caring way to help you breathe easily. Vicks. Astra, available with 0% finance. Call 0345 400 800 now. And then, of course, I realised I'd amputated the wrong leg. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh hello there. Uh, good morning, student doctors. Uh, as usual this morning, we shall be examining the human anatomy in a totally iron scientific and dispassionate way. Today, I shall be testing students, Mr. Cat and Dr. Farrells, on their power of diagnosis in a whimsical little lat game I've devised called x ray Ted. That made a woman excited. Oh, yeah. OK, now, uh, Miss McCarthy, do you have any objections to being examined by student doctors, Mr. McCatton and Mr. Farrell? No. OK. Yeah. Well, Mr. Farrell and Mr. Catton, Maybe. the examination is very straightforward. <laughs> okay. Miss McCarthy has contrived to introduce a variety of foreign objects to her alimentary canal. Woo! OK. Uh -huh. yeah. During yeah. the examination, various objects will appear on the X-ray screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
uh, and I will attempt to, to, to uh, describe their nature to you. Yeah? Is that's this clear? That's very clear. Well, uh, yes. Your task is to interpret the symptoms and correctly diagnose the problem. Before we begin, Ms. McCarthy, are you confident in these two gentlemen's abilities to correctly diagnose you? Oh, yeah. For legal reasons, you have to say that. Oh, yeah, Daddy. Okay. Uh, so, please, uh, I mean, they look good, but let's, let's get some callers as well. Yeah, why don't we? Call number one. What is your name and where are you from? Hi, my name's Dave. I'm from Oxford Street in Shropshire. Morning, Dave! Morning, Dave! Morning, Dave. 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 How many, baby? Uh, seven. 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 All right, and he one. is from Oswestry. Street. Oswestry. Street. Okay. That's almost right. Actually. No You're way. Two hundred miles below that. You're and here, I like it wrong. Nice. Okay. So okay. Right. Caller Lundy. number two. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Jill, and I'm from Farnham in Surrey. Hi, sweetie. Hi. <laughs> um, how many objects do you think? Um, six. Six. Yes. Yeah. Six, six objects. Okay. Six. Yeah, that's Surrey up there. All right. Okay. Last caller. What's your name? Hi, where are you I'm from? Ian. I'm from Barrow and Furness. Ian from Baron Finesse. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> okay, that's right. How many, Ian? Uh, five. Oh, oh, come on, Ian. Okay, there we go. Jenny, you corrected the card. Okay, got that right. Okay, so that's Ian with five. Well done, Jen Slick. Do you want to uh, step behind the screen? You okay. already have done. Uh, now, please, I'll, I'll just put the screen. Yes, here. please, because no, I'm kind of shy. The screen! The <laughs> screen! <laughs> screen. Oh, okay. oh, I thought the screen was for me. Uh, please, uh, get undressed. Thank you very much. Uh, oh she's wearing a. Actually, she has actually taken that to the limit before now. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay, you're ready. Okay. Uh, can we have 60 seconds on the clock, please? I have 60 seconds. Are you ready, young doctors? Okay. Ready. Okay. Uh, on the screen is a skeleton. You can't see it, but it is there. Okay. I trust you. Can I have the first object, please, now? <laughs> okay, you go 10 pin bowling. These are the things you're knocking down. Pin, pin. Uh, but in this country, they're called something else. Uh, it's also oh. named of a, of a little sweet you can have. Uh, oh, pickles. Uh, uh, no, uh, the uh, answer there was uh, skittle. Okay, Sorry, next one coming down here. The next one here is a. Uh, it's like you saw piping with. It's a. It's a. It's a, a handyman's tool. It's got a big loop on it, and oh, then the saw. Hacksaw is correct. Yes. Next one, yes. please. Uh, this is uh, something you use for digging, like grave diggers shovel. use it. Yeah, shovel is correct. Spades. Well, I've also Make got that. Okay, next one, please. Uh, people who uh, glide over the ice have these on ice their skates. shoes. Ice skates, correct. Next one, please. Uh, you use this in the kitchen uh, with food uh, to, 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 no, to mix things up. If I say the word, it'll give away what Mixer. it is as well. Blender. No, um, it, you use it for, for eggs. Spatula. Uh, 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 no, uh, no, spatula's uh, good, uh, but it's not thingy. No, it's a whisk. I'm going to go on to the Pickles. next one. Next one. Uh, Americans use this in their only what I think is the most national American sport. Anyone can play it. You just, no, this is the thing they actually hit with. Baseball oh, bat. bat. Baseball bat, correct. Next object, please. How'd you get uh, that? This struts in far <laughs> yards. Oh, actually, ah! yes. Uh, it was a cockerel, that answer there. So, uh, you got How a many? cockerel. Four? A cockerel. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, okay, uh, what's the answer? What's the, who's got that there, Jen? It's a five from Ian. Ian, you won, mate. Uh, is Ian on the line? Can we get Ian on the line, please? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, Ian. How tall are you, Ian? Six foot. Whoa. You're, are you really what? six foot? Yeah, I'm really six foot. Because are you aware? Are you, have you tried to get, get to big breakfast competitions before? Yeah. Many times? Yeah. And you're successful this morning. That always deserves perseverance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Press on. Press on. Uh, on. But you've won six feet of CDs. Wow. 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 Oh. Even if you take that down to a record, record and tape exchange, you're going to be very wealthy. Blocking ah. my view. It's a cash prize. OK. Ah. Do you know what? It's The Route to Midnight with Patrick Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is. Well done, boys. Well, well done. done. Well done. Well done. Patrick Moore here. Welcome to my Thursday route to midnight. Did you know that the Earth goes around the sun at 66,000 mph? So let's have a close look at oh, Albert Square. Dear B, I wish I could talk to you about this, but I can't. See, you won't believe this, but the woman Grant was having an affair with was my mum. Now you know why I've got to get away. But there's one thing I've got to get straight before I go. Grant never pushed me down the stairs. Now here's a star, if I ever saw one, Grace Kelly. She was full of paradox. I think it's why she was so totally fascinating all the time, even to people who knew her extremely well, because there was always another side of it. There was another dimension to it. And many dimensions to her dress sense, too. The lace 
forms an apron effect over the pale chartreuse underskirts. Grace visualizes herself in the yellow crepe. Hmm. Ooh, Miss Jones. Hello, Alan. Have you seen Mr. Rigsby? I saw his feet flying up the stairs. Oh, hello, Mr. Rigsby. Uh, uh, oh, hello, Miss Jones. Oh, uh, just, uh, just checking the, uh, the, the woodwork. Oh, I thought you might be avoiding me. Avoiding you, Miss Jones, the very idea. Uh, what's that you've got in your hand? Is that a collecting uh, tin? Yes, it's for famine relief. Oh. I thought you might like to help others less fortunate than yourself. Of course, Miss Jones. Certainly, it's a very, very worthy cause. Yes, allow me to um, contribute. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> No, no, it was nothing, Miss Jones. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> and that concludes my route to midnight for Thursday. And of course, don't forget, every four weeks you can see me on the sky at night. <laughs> deserve respect. So if you go for extreme tastes, you'll love what's packed into these crunchy honeycomb squares. But be warned, the taste is just too extreme for some people. Golden Grahams and now Cinnamon Grahams. Can you handle the taste? The Milky Way magic stars have been chased by a chocolate-eating monster. Well, all except Superstar. Milky Way magic stars. There I was in an old T-shirt, and suddenly the doorbell rings. Oh, goes. no, not Mark. Mark? Ah! <laughs> I'm running around trying to squeeze into a pair of trousers and sort my hair out. At least you can be confident about your skin. Clean and Clear's cleansing lotion is clinically tested to remove everyday dirt and grease. So you can feel happy your skin is beautifully clean and clear. <laughs> so you open the door, looking totally cool. Yeah, apart from my slippers. <laughs> clean and clear and under control. That's the end of today's show. Oh, do you know what? You know what that means for me? What? Only one more day left. Oh, Jen. Do you know what, though? Uh, the, Je the, the, the Jenny McCarthy Slipathon's still going. We and you know what? It's pathetic. It really must reach that total. It's really important. I can't it... survive without them. We're on 60 slippers, uh, so please, that Slipathon appeal is really important. You're going to help Jenny McCarthy, and that's a very serious cause. No stinky uh, ones. So, big breakfast, Lock Keepers Colleges, Old Ford, Lock London, E3. <laughs> Okay, there is just no. Oh, also, Jenny's on the net after the show. That's Bigbreakfast.channel4.com. Right. In a half hour. In no, a half hour. No, in, a half in, hour? in an hour. In an hour. 10 o'clock GMT. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this show all over the world. It's been a blast. Yes, I'd like to thank uh, today's guests, right? Okay, who's Will Farrell and Chris Catan, you guys, good luck with the movie. It thank comes you. out March hey. Seriously, make sure you guys go see this movie. It's totally insane. Did you have fun today? No. no. Good. <laughs> but it was no fun having you here, you also, miserable. Also, okay. the most incredible. <laughs> hey! Creative man, Richard Rand. Hey, Richard, I am taking those pillows with Jenny, me. Jenny, you can have them. You rock. Ooh, Richard, <laughs> never known him give a gift like that before. It's extraordinary. And it's unprecedented. my favorite family in the world, the Hall family from Cornwall. Here they are. Yeah. They're off on their travels today. We've also got to thank Harry and the Playboys in the house. Yeah! yeah. Uh, and and look, it's been dog day all day. Uh, all the dogs, including Dave with his bulldogs. Thank you very much for coming down here, Dave. Yeah. What's this little mutt called? He's going to be called Johnny. He's going to be called Johnny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice thing. And also, we've got to thank uh, Karen from Rugby with our performing dog, Marcus. OK, sorry, run out of time. No more tricks. Here's Phil Gale, Big Breakfast News and Weather. Here he is. Yeah. These are the closing headlines. Genetically modified foods back on the menu. A House of Lords report out this morning claims that any risks are far outweighed by the benefits. Consumer groups say that little is being done to protect consumers. News just in an England coach. Glenn Hoddle and goalkeeper David Seaman are heading to Wembley Stadium for a major announcement. A news conference is planned for 2 o'clock.
Gary Glitter is due to make his first Crown Court appearance this morning in Bristol. He's facing charges of eight sexual offences and 50 others relating to indecent photographs. The government has confirmed guidelines for GPs on prescribing Viagra. It will be available to certain victims of impotence, including diabetics and MS sufferers. And a final look at the weather. Average temperatures should reach 7 degrees Celsius. There'll be less rain about today, although the southeast will still be quite wet. Most of the country will have a mild day with sunny spells. There'll be a light breeze stronger further north. It's three minutes to nine. That's it for today. See you in the morning. Thank you very much indeed for your show. Uh, do you know what? Tomorrow, another pushy mum. Ashley Rossiter, another chance to win your height in CDs. Uh, what a day we've had. Can I see if this still works? Uh, see if it works. Oh, when? Mistress. Okay. Yeah! Oh, no, no, that's very working for you. But Jenny McCarthy will be on the net after the show. Yes. Uh, so you can ask all the questions you want. That's happening about 10 o'clock. And make sure you tune in tomorrow, my last day. It's your last day. Oh. Anything could happen. You guys are having a party for me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course we're having a party. Huge party! Yeah. Yeah. Lots of presents! Yeah, yeah lots yeah. of presents. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, listen, Jenny, have you enjoyed it so far this week? I had so much fun. It's but bring, bring food. Okay, listen, we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. The Bye -bye. Big Breakfast. Keep it on. Bye -bye.